Hello everyone. Today I wanted to give a quick walkthrough of the updated Traverse Editor and Traverse Adjustment Tools in Civil 3D 2018. If you go online you can find quite a few tutorials and videos that show the best method to input data into these and make adjustments. Now one thing you will find are most of the examples used are your typical closed lollipop loop traverses that close back on a point that they started from. So today I wanted to do something a little bit different and show a connecting traverse. It's actually a mathematically closed connecting traverse. The, ge the geometry is just open. So let's get started. First of all, just so you see, I have a control point file that I'm going to input. I have 188 or 185 through 191, these four. And I'm also going to bring in the traverse file so you don't, you don't have to watch me type all this in, but I'll show you how it was derived. So this is the save traverse file, what it looks like if you save from the traverse editor. So let's start by bringing in my control points. I'm going to go to the point creation tools, import from ASCII, find my file here. Uh, pick my format, which is already here, northern, easting, elevation, add them to a point group, maybe call control. I'll make these a bit bigger so you can see those points. Okay. Now let's bring in the Traverse. So I'll go to the home screen, Traverse, Traverse Editor. And again, all I did was type in my first two known points, and then I put in all the courses. So kind of uh, assuming that maybe you had uh, a field book of this Traverse. You didn't have it digitally recorded on a data collector for whatever reason. It was a, a short little traverse, so you recorded in the field book. You reduced those to azimuth and keyed these in directly to run a quick uh, balance. So I'm going to select open, pick my traverse file, and here you can see exactly how this was keyed in. Under occupied point, I just typed my known 191 or 191 and 190. That's my first two known points, and I moved from 190 through these other computed points. And you can see the angle that I keyed in was the azimuth, north 106, 10, 28, and a distance. So reduced all those angles to azimuth. And then ending, I also put in the last two closure points, 188 and 185. These points were brought in just so that I could use the balance or adjustment tools. Before we go over there and take a look at that, just want to kind of show you what's going on with the traverse. So here's our first known point, 191. Our first setup is at 190. So we had a backside into this known control point, and our first turn angle was here. So all these are computed points. All the way around till we get to here, we did a foresight into a known point. So you can see my known point is underneath there. It's called 188. I'll drag it out. 200 is where 188 should be, and of course there's going to be a little bit of misclosure there, a little bit of error propagation. And then finally we move the instrument up to 0.200, or 188 in this case. And we did a angle turn to 185 so that I could compute my angular misclosure. So let's go to the adjustments now. So I have a shortcut that I can jump directly to the balance tool here. I can save this as the trav file, which you can see, or trav2, which I've already done, and do this later. But either way, I'm just going to close out of that, discard, I don't need it. And I'm going to go to the traverse, traverse adjustment. I'm going to select the source, which is that TRV2. And notice immediately here my error in the disk, uh, error in the distance is really bad, so something's confused. But let's go back and see why. Well, remember, my first set of point was actually 190, and I did a backside to that known point, 191. So it sees 191 first, and it thinks, oh, that's that's where you started. But really, it wasn't. That was just a backside point. So I'll type in 190. And now I'm going to go find my last point. And so remember, 200 was the end point the final computed point, and 200 should have been at 188. Of course, it missed a little bit, so the point of closure is 188, the known point number. 
There we go. As soon as I hit the tab key, we should see better results. And already I have 1500s out of distance error, and that matches exactly what my hand calc show. So below there, if, you, if I go to settings, I have the compass method only turned on, so I don't see these other methods. You can turn them on. But I can see what compass is going to do to distribute that 1500s through the each leg of this traverse. And you can see the adjustments here as we go down in blue. So last but not least, maybe I'd like to do an angular adjustment as well. Remember I said we did turn that last angle to that last known point, so we can do it in theory. So I'm going to select angular balance, but I have to tell it what is my closing and what is my shot direction. So my observed direction, if you remember, should be from that uh, point 200 up here down to this final fixed point of 185. So what I can do, and this is in the help file, how to input data like this, I'm going to type in 200 dot, 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 three dots, 185, and hit the tab key. So that's just basically saying, give me the direction from point 200 down to 185. And now for my closure, closure direction, that just means what is the known direction it should have been. Well, that's easy. That's 188, dot, 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 three dots, 185. So that's a known point to a known point. And now we can see our angular immediately show up here. And one little trick here, notice it is currently set to decimal degrees, which most folks really don't want to see that. So let's hit done, and I'm going to go over to our ambient settings of the file. So go to settings tab, right click on the drawing name, edit drawing settings, and we need to go under the angle area, under ambient settings, and we want to change that two degrees, minute, seconds. There we go. And we'll go back to the Traverse Adjustment Tools. And now you can see what uh, we would be more used to seeing, which is our eight seconds of misclosure, and that matches what the hand calc show as well. And then below you can see how that eight seconds is distributed through each one of the legs. So my goal today was to give a quick overview of the updated tools for Traverse Editing and Traverse Adjustments. I hope this has been beneficial. Have a great day.